Now fasting is the act of abstaining from food and drinks as a religious observance. The Christians do it, the Muslims do it, and believe it or not, even the warlocks and the witches do it. Now the general concept is that you're fasting to starve your body and heighten your spiritual senses and experiences. Some do it for a day, some for three days, others go for as long as a week. But now we are seeing some cultist religious groups taking it a tad too far, to the point we are starting to see deaths. Let me just read you this article of what happened in Kilifi County when a crazy pastor made most of the congregants to die. Here's the article and I quote, Four worshippers of Pastor Paul Mackenzie's Good News International Church died after going for days without food and water at Shakahola village in Magarini constituency. Their bodies were taken to Malindi sub-county hospital mortuary pending identification and autopsy. Mackenzie's followers say they have been told to fast to avoid apocalyptic damnation. According to the police report, the cops acted on a tip-off and visited the scene for fact-finding. They managed to rescue 15 people, among them four were emaciated and in critical condition. They died before reaching the hospital. The other 11 people, including two minors, are admitted to the Malindi sub-county hospital. This incident was reported at Langobaya police station under OB number 07 stroke 14 stroke 4 stroke 2023. And it doesn't end there. After the police scoured around the area, they found around 11 shallow graves in that vicinity, meaning there are people who died and they were buried. And we know that for a fact because there is a woman who went there and she was on TV being interviewed and she went there with her two sons. And by the time police are arriving, herself she is very emaciated, barely has any strength. If the police delayed by a week, she'd have died. But now they're asking her, where are your two sons, who you came with? She doesn't know where they are. They've looked around, they can't find them. Definitely if you go to one of those shallow graves, or two of them, you'll find those boys have been buried there. And I am pretty sure that lady is feeling like a fool today. She has only two sons. She has taken them there to that uh, fasting camp. The two sons are dead. The fasting has ended for her. It has been ended by police. And if you look at her, she is well past the age of siring children. So now she's going to have to be alone for the rest of her life because of that misguided directive coming from her pastor, Pastor Mackenzie. And I don't think there is anything religious about what this group is doing. And if you look at the things that are happening in that camp, there is nothing religious about it, in my opinion. We all know the story of Abraham, how he got tested by God to go sacrifice his only son, but God stopped him. Meaning God is not okay with parents leading their children to death. But we are seeing this lady losing two sons, others are losing their own lives. It's just a crazy scenario. And in this video, I want us to look into why these believers of Pastor Paul Mackenzie are killing themselves in elongated fasts that ought to be illegal. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first reason for this crazy kind of fasting is because of a person called Pastor Paul Mackenzie. Now, the teaching he has been giving his believers is that they ought to starve themselves so that they can die faster and meet Jesus sooner. And it's not the first time he has been behind bars because of somebody dying in one of these crazy fasts of his. I saw that there's a point he was arrested because of someone also dying and he was released on cash bail. I don't think it was above 20,000. Now he's back again holding other camps deep in the forest where people are dying and being buried in shallow graves. So that guy is misleading those believers. And I believe he's just giving sacrifices of some sort. There is so much literature in the Quran and in the Bible that automatically tell you this guy is just a fraud. For instance, it says in the Bible that God reduced the lifespan of human beings to 70 years. And everything above that is a bonus. So 70 is what you ought to reach at the bare minimum. Yet this pastor is leading some young boys into their deaths. He couldn't even have at least said, Wewe mama, wezi leta wa toto hapa. You, you can fast, but let the boys go home. But him is okay, he just wants to... It's almost like a suicide bomber. Someone who wants to go out with as many people as possible. And I doubt he himself is engaging in those fasts. I've not heard of him being emaciated. I've not heard of him being rushed to hospital. I've only heard of him being rushed to court. And the second reason behind this crazy kind of fasting is, believe it or not, poverty. This country is doing so, so badly that most people are contemplating suicide. 
and when you are alone it is hard to do it most people don't have the guts it is not everybody who has the courage to go put themselves on a rope or to turn the fire am against themselves most people will attempt but not go through with it but now they are being given forums by people like this pastor to go on and commit mass suicide now you are going to a camp there is 20 30 of you on on thursday night you hear sister so and so died and they all celebrate they say she has gone to be with the lord on a friday three other people die they celebrate they say those ones have gone to be with the lord so even those who are there they are waiting for their turn to die they are not even worried that people around me are dying they are saying that is fine i am just here waiting for my turn so these guys seem to have no reason to live and that is why they are busy dying If you look at the people who are fasting there most of them had no jobs no income they were struggling and when they meet such pastors who tell them to go on a journey where they can end their lives and go to be with Jesus basically finding a better living they just agree and they go to such places now it's bad for the pastor to con gullible believers but for me it is even worse to take the lives of small boys the least he could have done was release those small boys let the mother engage in her crazy activities but let the boys go home him he's just happy to go out with as many people as possible so whoever was digging those graves needs to be arrested and arraigned in court whoever organized that activity the pastor and his co-conspirators they need to be sought after and those who survived need to be taken for serious rehab that is a very dangerous it's the worst cult i've seen in this country i've not even heard of such things with the, those who practice in the occult we have never heard of such a story breaking out in this country whereby some witch or warlock lied to people to go and fast to their deaths no but as usual guys that's just my opinion do drop me your own comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response now in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david wafula hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.